Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing super fantastic wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. This is an introduction into types of RVs. We're going to cover the basics and only the basics. Hope you find this video valuable. I downloaded the graphics from the Thor website. Thank you very much, Thor. Let's start off with motorhomes, uh, Class A gas motorhomes. They are the most affordable type of uh, Class A on the market. They can be under 30 feet or over 40 feet long, and their engines are typically a Ford V8. And the engine is located up front because they are not as noisy as most diesels. Next up in the Class A category are the diesel pushers. Uh, these motorhomes are quite powerful. They're super powerful. As the name implies, the motor is in the back of the RV because it can be a bit, a bit uh, noisy. You can spend $200,000 for a diesel pusher or $2 million on a diesel pusher. They can be super, super elegant, very upscale. Let's talk about Class C uh, motorhomes. They are typically based on a cutaway van or truck bed chassis. What is a cutaway uh, chassis? That's when uh, after the cabin, uh, they leave the uh, manufacturer to fill in the empty space, the void, uh, with whatever they want uh, in whatever way they feel uh, would be appropriate for a classy uh, motorhome. Some small C's, if they do not have a bed or a cab, may be considered B pluses. The most affordable category of motorhome, again, is a Class C. Super C's, yes, super C's are C's on steroids. They're gigantic, often having a diesel, big diesel engine, a very noisy diesel engine up front. Let's talk about the final category of motorhomes, Class B. They are based on a van and not a cutaway chassis. They are typically the smallest of motorhomes. Their length varies from the teens, the high teens, to the low twenties. They can provide double duty as your regular vehicle and as an RV. Class B are the most versatile motorhome available currently on the market. Many are short sure enough to fit in a standard uh, parking spot. Some come in diesel. Some come in gas, and uh, right now, some are usually coming out as electric EV models. Let's talk about uh, towables, starting off with fifth wheels. They are very popular with uh, full-timers because of their size, and as compared to bumper pulls, are more easily towed because of the way they're situated in the back of the truck bed. Some fibers can be over 40 feet long, a substantial truck with an excellent tow rating is required along with a special hitch combo, the tow capacity, payload, and GCWR gross combined weight rating has to be taken into consideration. You have to have the appropriate truck to tow a fifth wheel. There's also fifth wheel toy haulers, similar to the last model I just talked about. These units are designed to carry ATVs, motorcycles, and other toys during your camping or off uh, grid adventures. So, very nice. So you can take your, again, your toys. Let's talk about travel trailers. This is the most popular segment and the least expensive segment of the RV market. They come in all shapes and materials from molded fiberglass to fiberglass laminate to sticks and tin. You can start RVing if you have the appropriate tow package and rating to tow a travel trailer. Then there are small travel trailers similar to above. These uh, smaller travel trailers also include aerodynamic and lightweight hybrid pop-ups and teardrop campers. I didn't get a chance to show a graphic uh, from Thor of a truck camper. I guess it's because they don't make any or sell any, but Lance, Palomino, Northern Light, and many others do. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegares. I hope you found this information useful and a valuable tool in your search to get the perfect RV. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And ring the bell for future notifications. And if you have the chance, uh, you know, check out my photographs on my RVTA specific uh, photographic website. And that information is below and also in the description. 
Thanks for checking out my video. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.